In this series, we are here to help you clear your NMC CBT exam. Every alternate day, we'll present you with 20 multiple choice questions and their answers to boost your knowledge and to supercharge your progress. We've got a weekly master video with a whopping 120 MCQs. Don't miss out on this opportunity to excel. Let's dive right in. Question 101. What is atrial fibrillation? A heart condition that causes Option A, an irregular and often abnormally slow heart rate. Option B, an irregular and often abnormally fast heart rate. Option C, a regular heart rhythm with an abnormally slow heart rate. Option D, a regular heart rhythm with an abnormally fast heart rate. The correct answer is B. Question 102. You are the named nurse of Mr. Corbin, who has just undergone an abdominal surgery four hours ago. You have administered his regular analgesia two hours ago, and he is still complaining of pain. Option A gives another dose. Option B assist patient in a comfortable position. Option C all of the above. The correct answer is C. Question 103. Which of the following senses is to fade last when a person dies? Option A. Hearing. Option B. Smelling. Option C. Seeing. Option D. Speaking. The correct answer is A. Question 104. You have observed and for catheter insertion site with erythema, swelling, pain, and warm. What VIP score would you document on his notes? Option A5, option B2, option C3, option D4. The correct answer is C. Question 105. When treating patients with Clostridium difficile, how should you clean your hands? Option A. Use alcohol hand rubs. Option B. Use soap and and water. Option C. Use hand wipes. Option D. All of the above. The correct answer is B. Question 106. In normal breathing, what is the main muscle S involved in inspiration? Option A. The diaphragm. Option B. The lungs. Option C. The intercostal. Option D. All of the above. The correct answer is A. Question 107. When do you gain consent from a patient and consider it valid? Option A. Only if a patient has the mental capacity to give consent. Option B. Only before a clinical procedure. Option C. None of the above. The correct answer is A. Question 108. The UK regulator for nursing and midwifery professions within the UK with a stated aim to protect the health and well-being of the public is Option A. G. M. C. Option B. N. M. C. Option C. B. M. C. Option D. W. H. C.
The correct answer is B. Question 109. What do you expect to manifest with a fluid volume deficit? Option A. Low pulse, low BP. Option B. High pulse, high BP. Option C. High pulse, low BP. Option D. Low pulse, high BP. The correct answer is C. Question 110. How do we handle a specimen container labeled with a yellow hazard sticker? Option A. Wear gloves and apron and inform the laboratory that you are sending the specimen. Option B. Wear gloves and apron market high risk and send the specimen to the laboratory with your other specimens. Option C. Wear gloves and apron. Inform the infection control team and complete a DATIX form. Option D. Wear gloves and apron. Place specimen in a blue bag and, and complete a DATIX form. The correct answer is A. Question 111. A nurse is caring for clients in the mental health clinic. A woman comes to the clinic complaining of insomnia and anorexia. The patient tearfully tells the nurse that she was laid off from a job that she had held for 15 years. Which of the following responses, if made by the nurse, is most appropriate? Option A. Did your company give you a severance package? Option B. Focus on the fact that you have a healthy, happy family. Option C. Losing a job is common nowadays. Option D. Tell me what happened. The correct answer is D. Question 112. What does intermediate care not consist of? Option A. Maximize dependent living. Option B. Prevent unnecessary acute hospital admission. Option C. Prevent premature admission to long-term residential care. Option D. Support timely discharge from hospital. The correct answer is A. Question 113. Hospital discharge planning for a patient should have start. Option A. When the patient is medically fit. Option B. On the admission assessment. Option C. When transport is available. The correct answer is B. Question 114. Causes of diarrhea in Clostridium difficile are Option A. Ulcerative colitis is a condition that causes inflammation and ulceration of the inner lining of the rectum and colon. Option B. Hashimoto's disease, also called chronic lymphocytic thyroiditis or autoimmune thyroiditis, is an autoimmune disease. Option C. Pseudomembranous colitis is an acute Exudative colitis usually caused by Clostridium difficile. PMC can rarely be caused by other bacteria. Option D. Crohn's disease is one of the two main forms of inflammatory bowel disease, so may also be called IBD. The other main form of IBD is a condition known as ulcerative colitis. The correct answer is A. Question 115. If your patient is unable to reposition themselves, how often should their position be changed? Option A. 1 hourly. Option B. 2 hourly. Option C. 3 hourly. Option D. As often as possible.
The correct answer is B. Question 116. Which of these is not a symptom of an ectopic pregnancy? Option A. Pain. Option B. Bleeding. Option C. Vomiting. Option D. Diarrhea. The correct answer is C. Question 117. Where is revision on the nursing purses done? During Option A. Diagnosis Option B. Planning Option C. Implementation Option D. Evaluation The correct answer is D. Question 118. What are the professional responsibilities of the qualified nurse in medicines management? Option A. Making sure that the group of patients that they are caring for receive their medications on time. If they are not competent to administer intravenous medications, they should ask a competent nursing colleague to do so on their behalf. Option B. The safe handling and administration of all medicines to patients in their care. This includes making sure that patients understand the medicines they are taking, the reason they are taking them, and the likely side effects. Option C. Making sure they know the names, actions, doses, and side effects of all the medications used in their area of clinical practice. Option D. To lay eyes closely with pharmacy so that their knowledge is kept up to date. The correct answer is B. Question 119. Which client has the highest risk for a bacteremia? Option A. Client with a peripherally inserted central catheter PIC line. Option B. Client with a central venous catheter CVC. Option C. Client with an implanted infusion port. Option D. D. Client with a peripherally inserted intravenous line. The correct answer is B. Question 120. What is primary care? Option A. The accident and emergency room. Option B. GP practices, dental practices, community pharmacies, and high street optometrists. Option C. First aid provided on the street. The correct answer is B.